Hi everyone, I'm back again. Today's video will be on the new interpolation system of Blender 2.93. In this new update, the interpolation is now a tool that you can find on the left side of the viewport in the tool section. The principle of the interpolation that I explained on one of my videos remain unchanged, but the manner to apply here does change. First of all, the interpolation tool is available in draw mode and edit mode. Both do the same job but work differently. In draw mode, place your timeline in between two keyframes. Select the interpolation tool. Place your cursor in the viewport. Now click then slide the mouse. It will interpolate straight away. Just release the click to valid. In edit mode, you have to work with selection. I prefer to use the lasso selection with the vertex selection enabled. Localize two keyframes for the interpolation. Make a selection on one of those keyframes. Move your timeline somewhere in between. Now click, then slide the mouse. It will interpolate. Just release the click to valid. And one more thing really cool, you can interpolate some parts of the drawing with a precise selection instead of the whole drawing. But be careful. In a case you already made an interpolation, it will show up with a tiny blue diamond shape called breakdown. Imagine now that you want to make an interpolation in between two breakdown frames. It won't work. But to make it happen, you have to turn the two breakdown frames into normal keyframes. Another rule to watch out. To make a successful interpolation, the two keyframes chosen has to be similar. If you move, rotate or deform one of them, it won't affect the interpolation. But if by accident a stroke or some vertex are missing on one of those keyframes because you delete them, you will see some wet transformation. So be careful. Sometimes interpolate a bunch of drawings at once can be risky, so don't hesitate to create as many layers as you need in order to be organized and avoid to mess up with the whole project. It's a solution if you forgot or want to add elements in the scene. And finally, the interpolation sequence is another solution to generate automatically some breakdowns for a smooth interpolation. Feel free to tweak the number at your convenience. I'm pretty sure you can build awesome slow motion with it. I hope the second review of the interpolation will help you to understand more about his usage. I focus this episode on this topic to deliver as much as I learn myself to you. Don't hesitate to ask me more in the comment section. It's always a pleasure for me to know what you guys think about the content. The blend files is available on my Gumroad, so feel free to download it, it's totally free. Thanks again for all the support for this channel, it's been a lot to me and give me more strength to continue. Much love, cheers!